So strabismus is uh, also colloquially known as squint. And all it means is that the eyes, either looking straight ahead or in a particular view of looking around, are not pointing in the same direction. So strabismus is a, a catch-all phrase, and we think of it in various ways. Uh, as you will be aware, often children have a strabismus, and that's quite commonly associated with being long-sighted. So sometimes we can cure strabismus just with glasses in children, um, and that's called an accommodative squint. Um, uh, and squints can be, or strabismus can be convergent, the eye moving in together, or divergent, the eyes diverging, but also sometimes the vertical imbalance between the eyes. And we see strabismus not only caused during childhood, where we don't always know why it happened, but we see it in adults too, people who have either had a lazy eye as children, or we see adults who have neurological problems, so they can have a nerve palsy, uh, where the muscles of their eyes are not moving properly due to nerve damage, or sometimes due to disease in the muscles themselves. So there's a wide range of types of strabismus, but they all have in common either the eye deviating from the straight ahead position, or uh, particularly in adults, seeing double, seeing two of an object. People often get a little confused by the terms, and I don't blame them because there are so many in our field. But uh, uh, when we talk about a lazy eye in, in ophthalmology, we're thinking in terms of what we call, by the technical term, amblyopia. And that means that the vision is reduced in one eye, even with glasses. And that usually arises because during childhood, uh, the eye uh, had a strabismus or didn't focus properly, and, uh, and so the brain did not develop the normal pathways for vision. And so strabismus is quite a, a common accompanying amblyopia or lazy eye. Uh, but uh, in terms of squint, that's uh, the word we use for just uh, a strabismus, uh, meaning the eyes are not uh, moving correctly together. Uh, but of course, also in English, we use the phrase squint to mean screwing up the eyes, to see clearly or in bright light, for example, and that's not what we mean by strabismus. So strabismus or squint means the eye is not working together properly, and a lazy eye means that the vision is reduced to one eye. So sometimes you can have strabismus with a lazy eye with amblyopia, sometimes you don't have to have amblyopia to have strabismus. The causes of strabismus are varied, uh, one of the causes is, uh, uh, is uh, just a, a combination of genes and environment. So we see some children developing strabismus in their first year of life. That's called an infantile esotropia, normally the eyes turning inwards. And that uh, we don't fully understand why it happens. But in part, it's a sort of miswiring of the uh, uh, eye uh, muscle pathways from the brain. But we most commonly see strabismus during childhood associated with long-sightedness. Um, and so kids who are long-sighted uh, 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 tend to over-converge their eyes because they're trying to bring their focus near and that gives them a strabismus. So that's the type that can be treated uh, often with glasses. And we see uh, strabismus due to neurological problems. So either a stroke or uh, uh, for example, a, a, a brain problem, even brain tumors, for example. Uh, we also see strabismus uh, due to muscle disease, so diseases like thyroid, uh, eye disease, thyroid problems, or myasthenia, a muscle weakness problem, can give people double vision and strabismus as well. So it's a wide range of, of causes from childhood all the way up to adulthood. We're increasingly seeing people who are myopic or short-sighted um, uh, developing a double vision in the, looking in the distance. Um, and, and as myopia is becoming more common in our society, we're probably seeing more of that now in adults. So a wide range of causes uh, can cause strabismus. And that's one of the challenges of strabismus is firstly working out the cause and then secondly, the challenge of working out how to correct it. Strabismus is treated uh, uh, by a variety of methods in children. 
we may uh, treat it with glasses, uh, we may treat it with surgery on the eye muscles. In adulthood, uh, we use a various uh, method. Sometimes we'll treat it with what's called a prism, which is bends the light and it can be built into glasses so that people can see single and do not see double. Sometimes we'll treat it with Botox injections, uh, which uh, interestingly Botox, which is used in the aesthetics industry to reduce wrinkles. It was actually invented by an eye surgeon for eye muscles. And we inject an eye muscle to weaken it, to make the eyes work better together. Uh, and very commonly in adulthood, we'll treat your business with surgery on uh, uh, one or more of the eye muscles to straighten the eye. 